I've got a new set of roller rockers. Uh, these are the CompCam CompCam Ultra Pro, um, and <clears throat> I'm just going to set the valve lash and everything on a hydraulic cam uh, with the rollers. And I'm going to use the number one and take an exhaust. I have a long video, but I want to just do a short, quick one just to kind of show um, on one little thing. If you're putting them on in the uh, car and you've basically got the heads and intake on. So the other one I did was with the intake off. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is, you know, put your rockers on, have your push rods in, make sure they're centered up with the... Uh, uh, lifter inside there, you know, uh, take your um, locker uh, little set screw out and loosen that up so that you can get enough turns to get this turned down all the way. So turn it down until it stops, you know, and you can feel on the push rod it might be a little stiff. All right, so the first step is getting those on. I put a little lube under there for the valve stems. We're just gonna focus on one. Number one here, obviously this is the exhaust. There's the exhaust hole, and this is the intake. Uh, big thing is, this is a method that uh, I prefer on my other video, it's the uh, EOIC. So EOIC is the method of exhaust opening, set the intake, intake closing set the exhaust it's just that easy so I've got a ratcheting breaker bar I've taken my belts off you want to take all your accessory belts off uh, you won't have the resistance otherwise you're probably just going to strip the threads out of the crank if you try to turn it over you don't want to do anything like that occasionally I've done it in a pinch but that's uh, at the track here we're in the garage so all right first I'm just going to keep turning this over clockwise and we're going to see what we get for movement. All right, so right now, this is the exhaust. You may have noticed that this is lower than the intake here. So the exhaust is opening. Now how it's opening is it's pushing this lifter and spring down. And that's opening the valve into this head. It opens it up to let the exhaust out. So the exhaust is opening, and the other way you look at it is the rocker tip is coming up and the roller is going down. So I'll turn it just a little sm smidge more so you can see that it's pretty clearly in the opening position. Now that the exhaust is open, uh, opening, sorry, I can set this intake. So at that time, I'm going to take the nut that I already have here and put my poly lock down. And the push rod is underneath the back side. I'm going to loosen it up here. It's loose. I can wiggle this. I'm going to tighten this up until I've got a nice tight drag, which is right here. And then now <clears throat> I'm going to take my ratchet. What I'm doing here with the push rod, and I've explained this before, is uh, I'm turning it. It's like I'm, you can see my fingers moving. That's kind of how stiff I am. It's real stiff, but it still will turn, you know. Uh, that's where I like zero lash. And then I'm going to put on my ratchet here and do a half a turn. All right, the biggest thing is always check this because, see, the ratchet kind of turned a little bit. That's one thing is you can push down on this or find the spot on the ratchet where it goes and it might loosen it up. See, I had to snug this up a little bit more. So at this time, I've got it to where I want it here. I've got zero play. I'll explain on the next one. Now we're gonna go half a turn clockwise, and <clears throat> that's set. The intake now is super tight, and I can tighten up the poly lock. <clears throat> and then I'll grab my five eighths, My 5 8 wrench on here and take this and the set screw, crank it down, 
You usually hear it click like that. You're dead set. That's done. All right, so now I'm going to continue to turn this and we'll set the exhaust. So the exhaust is coming back up. The next big movement is we're going to look for is the <laughs> intake, which the intake's opening now. You can see it coming down. Okay, so now it's coming back up. Travel here, you can see it's still down. This rocker's way up high. So I'm going to do it real slow again so we can see it coming up. So you can see that it's moving back up. So what it's doing is it's pulling, it pulled, pushed the valve in. Now it's coming up to close. So that means that the exhaust is fully seated and closed. If you had the intake off, you could see that. And right now, I can take this one. And I'm going to do zero lash, which I'll explain real quick. Push rod's back here. It's inside the tip of the fulcrum. Now, if you had it really loose, you could go up and down. And you could wiggle the whole thing around. And I have lube on there, so it's not going to make any metal sounds. But if it was a little drier, it might make metal noise. Metal on metal. You just want to tighten that nut. You know, I've got, I can turn it. When I, I can't come up and down... You're still going to be able to wiggle the rocker a little bit. It would be dead set if you didn't. But you're turning it here. And then now I've got like a real hard drag on it. And I can't come up and down. That's zero for me. That's zero lash on a hydraulic. Now if we had a flat tappet mechanical or roller mechanical, you would be putting a, a lifter gauge inside here at this point for zero but you would put the gauge in between and then tighten the nut down. As a matter of fact, I might as well do that in case somebody was watching this for that reason. So you can get a set of feeler gauges that are curved uh, like this and let's just say I choose to set it at 16, for example. Well, I'm going to take the feeler gauge, I'm going to stick it under here. And then now, I've got the gauge under. And you're turning it down until you're smashing the gauge. The feeler gauge is down all the way, you've got no play. And now at this point, you want to turn it with the wrench, just little snugs, until you have a real hard drag in and out. See, I'm pushing it in, but I'm really giving a little bit of force. The looser it is, the more, obviously, the more clearance you're going to have. But that's between the tip and the roller. You just want to be able to come in and out. You might give it a little smut, a little bump there, tighter, and you're still moving. I mean, you go super tight, you just can't even pull it out. So you want to get it to where it's super snug. And you can still come in and out easily. See, I got it to where I made it tighter. And now, come back just a little bit to where you can get the feeler gauge in and out. And have a little bit of drag on it. So you can feel that resistance. At that point, you can leave the gauge in there. And then you'll take your set screw and you'll turn the set screw in and then you're going to lock it down and then you're going to check it again you want to be sure that you can go in and out with that drag some guys like them super tight you got to like pull them real hard to get them out but they loosen up a little bit over time so some guys like to do that because it's less maintenance to come in in the initial uh, set setup so here's the solid mechanical style would be with a feeler gauge. You can see me putting it in there where I'm putting in the valve stem. And then you set the poly lock with the wrench and that's it. And that's with the valve closed. So I'll go back to the original just hydraulic setup. Loosen up my poly lock nut. And we're going to look for that drag 
and zero lash again. I've got that there now. Okay, so you can use a ratchet or you can use a wrench. Let's just say you don't have deep ratchet. Same thing would be here. I'm here and I'm gonna go half a turn clockwise. Then I get my Allen wrench. Let's set screw in. And lock it in. And that's done.